A central Arkansas toddler is healthy, happy, and at home, complete with a new heart. Elijah Cordell was born with a heart defect that progressively got worse, and it landed him on the transplant list. KRK Force Rebecca Jeffrey sat down with the family for their first interview since Eli got out of the hospital. Rebecca? Well, Bob and Ashley, we sat down just as long as we could because Eli is on the move. A welcome sight for his parents who have been praying for this full recovery, along with thousands of others following his journey on social media. Yeah, you can walk down if you want to. Every journey starts with a single step. Be careful, don't fall. For Elijah Cordella began before he was even born. At 28 weeks, his mom Lauren found out her first child would be delivered with hypoplastic left heart syndrome. Which means the left side of his heart isn't there or is severely underdeveloped. He was born September 4th, 2015. Four days later, he had his first scheduled surgery. A lot to take in, you know. Six months after that, he went under the knife again, but this time it wasn't as successful. His function just didn't get any better. With only 35% of his heart working, every beat was a battle. When the toddler came down with croup over the holidays last year, the family feared it was a losing fight. I knew he was going to be okay, but you still can't help but go to what if. His health declined further, and a month later, he was on the transplant list. Things, how do you pray for a heart to come when you know someone else is going to be going through that pain? <laughs> family found comfort in their faith, listening to the Christian song, All of Me, written by a father whose son was also waiting for a heart. I can't give you half my heart, and pray makes you whole. Lauren created a Facebook page to document Eli's progress for her friends and family, but what she got was the support of thousands. It's special to know you have people from all over the world praying for your little one. Six months later, on June 27th, their prayers were answered. It was a miracle. A heart just Eli's size was coming to Little Rock. All I want to hear is it's in and it's beating. And boy, is it beating. Okay, like show him. In his first week home, he was quick to show his parents nothing's going to slow him down. You say those are your battle wounds? Scars that expose a journey he'll keep close to his heart. We're going to teach him to not take that heart for granted. We're going to teach him to take care of it physically and spiritually. And though Eli was born with half a heart, he'll grow up with enough love to fill two. Elijah will be on medication for the rest of his life because there will always be a chance for rejection. There's no known cause for some fetal heart defects, but about one in a hundred babies will be born with one. The Cordell family says they will be forever grateful to the parents who made the decision to donate their baby's heart to save Eli. Bob and Ashley. Wow, Rebecca, thanks very much. Great story there.